Well, if 2023 tells us anything, it's the world's unpredictable and it's getting more unpredictable. And so I don't really know what the challenges of 2024 are going to bring. But what I do know is that the Air Force is always the country's first responder. And so we're going to be ready to fly and fight whatever 2024 brings. Sadly, I don't think peace is going to break out around the world. We've seen a number of the operational uh, challenges that we're dealing with at the moment where, where we're supporting, and I suspect those demands will only increase. But we've also got some new and innovative um, equipment coming online. We've got a real opportunity for some of the small disruptive teams that are helping us think differently about delivering maritime power into the future, where we'll see some of those ideas, I think, coming to fruition. And we will remain globally deployed. And, and all of that, I think, gives us huge, uh, a huge list of things to look forward to. I think the biggest and the most important challenge for me is ensuring that um, we're recruiting and we're retaining because without the amazing people that we have and without that fresh blood coming into the army then you know we we, we would never be as strong as we can so that is the principal focus I've got and then just continuing on the journey in in refreshing and mobilizing our culture making sure that this is an army which anyone can join which everyone feels themselves in and where everyone's talent shines through for all three services how do we look after our people even better than we do? And we know that we're in a massive competition for talent. We know that we've got to get it across as to how valuable these amazing men and women are. And, and that means better infrastructure, better ways of giving them a flexible career. There was a big pay rise this year. I think that's significant. How do we build on that and look after our people even better? Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.